the Secretary General today. The ambassadors are the five permanent members of the Security Council on their way to a meeting. But this wasn't a formal session around the horseshoe table of their chamber, the final court of international security, the place where historically so many decisions about global war and peace have been taken. Instead, the last to arrive at a meeting at the office of the UN Secretary General was the ambassador of the country that now looks close to unilateral action bypassing the Security Council, Samantha Power of the US. Ban Ki-moon told the five ambassadors the weapons inspectors have made good progress taking samples and witness statements inside Syria at the site of the chemical attacks. They will now take their scientific evidence to Europe for laboratory testing. Dr. Selstrom's team is doing his utmost to, to expedite the process uh, of analysis. But uh, while keeping this in mind, they also have to keep in mind something else, which is the need for rigorous attention to maintaining the integrity of the process. That laboratory work could take days, maybe weeks. Is the US prepared to wait? Right now, the corridors beside the Security Council are empty. This is supposed to be a three-day holiday weekend for the United Nations, but many Security Council diplomats will tell you they expect their break to be interrupted by military action. James Bayes, Al Jazeera, at the United Nations.